There's news tonight about the emotional issue of illegal immigration. Specifically, one city in particular that we've been reporting on here, they got so fed up, they took some extraordinary steps of their own. Tonight, however, the city of Hazleton, Pennsylvania, has been told it went too far. Now, what does this mean for other cities that have just passed similar laws? Our justice correspondent, Pete Williams, has a late update on this story out of our Washington bureau tonight. Pete, good evening. Brian, no question about it. This is a big legal victory for the nation's immigrants and a setback for the cities who've been frustrated by what they consider the federal government's spotty enforcement of immigration laws. Now, as a technical matter, this ruling applies directly only in Pennsylvania, but it will likely affect decisions on what to do in nearly 100 cities nationwide, where laws similar to the one in Hazleton or very much like it are on, uh, either on the books or under consideration. Now, Hazleton passed its laws a year ago, to punish local businesses that hired illegal, uh, illegal immigrants and landlords who rented to illegals. But today's ruling says that regulating immigration, and that includes deciding who is here illegally, is up to the federal government, and that cities can't add their own immigration laws of their own. The judge said the Constitution protects even those who evoke the least sympathy from the public. The city says it may appeal, Brian. All right, thanks, Pete. Pete Williams out of our Washington Bureau tonight.